want to solve the given system of linear equations, and there are several ways to solve a system of equations. We can solve a system by graphing, substitution, or elimination, sometimes called the addition method. In this example, we will be using the elimination or addition method. Now looking at the two equations, notice how the second equation contains fractions. So for our first step, let's clear the fractions from this equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which is three. So we'll leave this first equation the same, and we'll multiply the second equation by three. So the first equation will stay four x minus two y equals six, and now multiplying the second equation by three, because two thirds times three is two, on the left side we'd have two x plus two y equals two times three is six. So let's go ahead and solve the system of equations in this form. And when solving a system of equations by elimination or addition, we normally have to multiply one or both equations by a constant to make either the x terms or y terms opposites. But notice how now the y terms are opposites, and therefore we can add these two equations together, and the y terms will be eliminated. So let's go ahead and add the equations together. 4x plus 2x is 6x. Negative 2y plus 2y is zero, and therefore we have the equation 6x equals six plus six equals 12. Dividing both sides by six to solve for x, we have x equals two. So we know that our solution will be an ordered pair in the form of x comma y, and therefore we know that the x coordinate or the first value in the ordered pair is two, and now to find y, we need to substitute x equals two into one of the equations. Let's go ahead and substitute x equals two into the first equation. So using the first equation of four x minus two y equals six, we'll substitute two for x, which would give us four times two minus two y equals six. Four times two is eight. Eight minus two y equals six. Subtracting eight on both sides would give us negative two y equals negative two. Dividing both sides by negative two. Simplifying, we have y equals positive one. So the solution to the system is the ordered pair two comma one. So in parentheses, we enter two comma one. Let's verify our solution graphically by graphing both linear equations on the same coordinate plane to verify the two lines will intersect at the point two comma one. To save some time, I've already graphed the two lines. Here they are, and notice how the point of intersection is at this point here, where the ordered pair is two comma one, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.